Howdy doody, my name is Susie and today I thought I would share with you how I'm taking a fresh aloe vera leaf and I'm preparing the gel so that I can freeze it and preserve it for six months. There are a couple of things that uh, you need to know prior to doing this. Now I think everybody's aware of what an aloe vera leaf looks like. It's a succulent plant and it's been used for thousands of years for healing uh, conditions such as sunburn. I think that's the one thing most people know it for, but it also is very good at healing minor skin irritations, rashes, itchiness, inflammation of the skin. It's also said to have compounds in it that help to reduce pain and inflammation in some uh, circumstances. So the first thing that we're going to do, and I bought my aloe vera leaf from Fresco, and the reason I'm actually preserving it is because I wanted to be able to use some of the aloe vera gel fresh, but I didn't know what to do with the rest of it. So, so the first thing that I noticed when I bought it, I actually just put it off to the side. Um, I ran out of time to actually prepare my gel. And as time went on, I noticed that the leaf really kept uh, very well. So I kept this leaf actually for about a month on my counter without cutting it and it kept very well. I bought a second leaf and I decided to keep it in the refrigerator for about a month to see if there would be any difference. So this aloe vera leaf, which I kept in the fridge, has actually stayed plumper. So, so there is a bit of a slight difference with regards to the aloe vera leaf that I've just left on my counter for a month and the one that I kept in the fridge. I think the one that I kept in the fridge um, stayed a bit longer. So that bought me about a month in the refrigerator and now I've got time to actually go ahead and prepare the gel. So here's the second aloe vera leaf and it has these spikes on the side and you can see where the bottom of the leaf where it's been picked from its plant has calloused over. Now this is the part that we want to cut and then we want to soak the succulent leaf for about an hour or so. And what that is going to do, it's going to drain out um, what they call or is referred to as the aloe vera latex and the water will turn yellow. Now I cut this leaf earlier. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to wash the leaves uh, very thoroughly just with water and you want to make sure to remove any of the debris so I've washed these in advance and then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to cut the leaf just at the bottom above here where the green starts so there you go I've cut the leaf and I don't know if you can tell. So we've got the skin of the outside of the aloe vera and then on the inside between the aloe vera gel and the skin, there is a layer of this yellow latex. And what we wanna do is drain that latex by just simply placing the aloe vera leaf in some water and just allowing that latex to drain. Now, I'm not exactly sure of the variety that I actually purchased from the grocery store. It's actually this bitter yellow fluid, which you'll see coming out of the plant, and it naturally occurs in about 75 different species. So I think, so I think it'd be safe to say that if you're purchasing your aloe, it's a fair thing to do. Now you wanna let it sit for about an hour or so, the water will turn yellow, as the latex drains. So I've let this sit for about an hour. I, I think it's a little bit hard to tell, but the water is yellowish. So, and I've got my little ice cube trays ready. There's different sizes depending on uh, what you have, but I find that these ones with the little silicone bottoms are quite easy to pop off. So this is what I'm going to use to actually freeze the aloe vera gel. And the first thing we're going to do is just remove the spikes and I've seen um, different methods, but I think just using your peeler works really great. So 
So you can see I've removed those. It works very well with the peeler. So the reason that it's so important to remove the latex is because using it directly on your skin can actually irritate the skin and make your condition worse. So it's really important that the aloe vera gel is like really super cleansed. And I also watched some really interesting videos on the production of aloe vera gel. And even in those processes, there's a lot of washing of the aloe. So you really want to make sure to get rid of the latex so that you don't create a further um, irritant on your skin. Everybody has a different way of preparing this. So you just cut it along and remove that skin and you have the gel inside. And just using a spoon, it's very, very easy to scoop out that gel. And really you're just cutting the thinnest slice of the leaf. And then just scooping it out, which is, even though it's slimy, it's just very easy to pop out. I don't have very much to freeze. So I just cut it in slices and rinse this under cold water. Now I'm not making a large amount, but you really want to wash the aloe vera. And then take your gel and then we're just going to blend it. So I've just got a bit. So I have my aloe vera gel in my blender and then you're just going to process it. And there's the, uh, the aloe vera gel blended and I'm just gonna let it sit for the foam to calm down a little bit. Now, depending on your application, I know some people use aloe vera for their hair. You would want to strain this through a very fine mesh so that you're not left with all the pulp in your hair. So you want to create um, as smooth a liquid as possible. I'm going to but be using this just to apply it to your skin. And if you have like any uh, irritation, etc., then I don't think it's necessary to have to filter it into a fine, fine liquid. Uh, because you're just going to be applying it on your skin. So it's up to you whether you filter it at this point. So once the foam calms down and I've got my aloe vera gel in liquid form, I can then pour it into my ice cube tray. I would freeze it and then pop it out and put it in a freezer bag. Or I've actually purchased these little trays that have this silicone lid and that way I can pour my aloe vera gel directly into my ice cube tray seal it and then I'll be able to store it in the freezer in the actual tray and it actually makes it really easy because you can just lift the lid and pop out what you need um, each time that you use it. So again the aloe vera is especially fantastic for sunburns especially if it's coming directly out of the freezer and it's cold that's really going to help the reduce the heat from the burn. It so our aloe vera is almost melted. I've still got a bit of a cube, but you can take the melted aloe vera, and this is just a soft natural bristle brush and apply it to the area. Or you can take a little cotton swab and use that, dip it and apply it to the area. Or you can take, and this is just a little gauze and I've just cut it in half. Take the little gauze and use it and then apply the frozen aloe vera to the area if you really want a cooling effect. So I'm doing a test with preserving the aloe vera with vitamin E and vitamin C, but I just wanted to show you, this is one of the melted ice cubes. I really just wanted to show you the texture and you could see that it still has that gelatinous like texture, even after the aloe vera has melted. It really does help with minor irritation on the skin or skin that's inflamed. Now it is recommended that you do not use the aloe vera gel directly on open wounds. 
So you want to apply it to a rash or a sunburn or some sort of irritation. Now I have a friend who actually broke out in uh, some sort of a rash on her legs and she tried this and applied the aloe vera gel directly to her legs for a couple of hours. And here's the difference, the before and the after. So you can see how healing the aloe vera actually is. Now, even as safe as aloe vera is to apply to the skin, always do a skin test first, just to make sure that you don't have an allergic reaction or some sort of adverse reaction to what you're using. Because after all, we're all different. What works for me may not work for you, even something as simple as aloe vera. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you try this and you like it, I hope you share it. Until next time.